teenager has shared some truly shocking animal abuse on Snapchat. And like, what is wrong with people? Hello and welcome back to Inform Overload. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate, and today we have a really sad story about a cat who has been through some trauma. A group of youths picked up a cat called Gigi in Vancouver Island and tortured her. Not only was the cat mistreated, the youths who stole the cat knew the owner's family, and they sent a teenage girl snaps of her pet in disarray. Like, what kind of heartless people do this? 20 year old Josh Lemire was with a 16 year old girl and a 17 year old boy when they picked up Gigi. All three have now been charged with causing an animal to suffer. The callous trio drugged Gigi and sent the cat's owner a snap saying, your cat loves Molly, referring to MDMA. Not only did they drug the cat, they also shaved her fur and bleached her. 666 and my cat were written on her ear. I'm gonna say that the trio were obviously intoxicated on something, presumably MDMA, but like, being intoxicated, does that lead people to abducting cats and sending bullying Snapchat messages? I'd hope not. They then let Gigi out in the freezing cold rain in an unfamiliar area. After getting the snaps, cat owner Charlene Hagland's 16 year old daughter was totally distraught. She joined members of the community in looking for Gigi, who luckily was found the next evening, although she wasn't in a good way. Gigi was taken to the vet and did test positive for MDMA. The veterinarian, Dr. Bonnie Bay, said that Gigi had a higher than normal heart rate and she even could have died from the abuse. Lemire and his two teenage accomplices have been released on bail with conditions. They're not to consume intoxicants, contact the cat's owner, contact each other or possess or care for any other animal. And I hope that they're never allowed to possess any other animal because they are cruel. Local police are concerned that the backlash against the group is so strong that they're even at risk of pedestrian vigilantes. Meanwhile, Hagland is concerned not just for her cat, but for her daughter, who the attack was clearly aimed at. Gigi looks set to make a full recovery thanks to the help from the vets, and that is one silver lining. So that's all we have on this story, and it's just so horrible. I don't understand how anyone could do that to an innocent animal. It's just so sick. Let me know your thoughts on what happened in the comment section down below. I just want to bring up the mood before we end this video, though. I'm going to read a couple of comments from my video last week about an alien comet. Ooh. Mighty Viking says, that is is one long potato, and you're mighty right, mighty viking. Animator Pro says, Rebecca is cool. I'm actually really, really uncool, but I hope that I'm so uncool that I'm cool. Cool? Good. Adam Cow says, if you're a potato and you know it, clap your hands. If you're a potato and you know it, clap your hands. If you're a potato and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you're a potato and you know it, clap your hands. Yes, you've got to end every video with a song. It's just really, it, it really helps. Good. Clap your hands if you're a potato. Wave your hands in the air like you just don't care. Okay, so it's time to get out of here. Do make sure you leave me a comment in the comment section down below, and maybe we'll read them out in the future. For now, if you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, and stay subscribed to IO. If you want to continue on your news binge, then why not check out a couple of our popular videos from this week? We've got one about God's hands appearing in the clouds before a storm, and one about a freaky-looking Angelina Jolie lookalike. Ooh.